Hello, uh, what I've got here is a rather rare, or at least in working condition, Vectrex. I'm really quite interested to see how this works because I've never had a chance to play with one of these. I certainly never saw one back in the day when they were released. So you can imagine how excited I was when my friend said, hey, I've got one in my garage. Uh, it's, there's something wrong with it. Do you want to see if you can sort it out? So hell yeah, I certainly do. And here it is. Um, it's quite an amazing collection because we've got the Vectrex itself and we've even got the official leaflets that, that came with this thing and the box. There's a boxed controller. There's a whole bunch of games and things which I've, I've not got here. Um, so it's a, it's a nice little collection, but it's just a shame that it's, it doesn't work. I mean, the Vectrex itself is the first and only home computer game system that can be truly classified as high performance probably was back in the day and um, I'm really excited to see how it works and, and what the games play like because I've heard that they're really very cool. So to see how this uh, this thing is going, I plugged it in, it has got uh, an aftermarket <laughs> power lead on it and I think that was a modification that a few people did. So let's see what it's doing. The controller flips out from here and then you have a volume power knob here. So as you can tell, it sounds like the logic's working. It's got sound, it's got audio. The um, game itself seems to be working. There's, a, there's two boards in here. There's a logic board and there's a display board, um, but there's nothing coming out of the display. So uh, let's see what we can do about that. And the first thing you should do with these is um, discharge them. Now this unit's not been on for several weeks, so I'm pretty sure that it's not dis, uh, not got any charge in it. Um, the way you do that is you poke something up here to conduct, and you earth it on the strap here. And once you get the back off, we just want to get this board out. This is the logic board. This is the display controller board. It's connected by a few connectors here, and there's a little one right at the back, just over there. The other thing that is holding it in are a few screws. There's another one back here. cable which is soldered obviously going to need to desolder that to be able to separate the boards and slide this one out uh, there's another screw just at the back here holding the overboard in and just that cable to get out So we need to get the knob off, the volume on and off knob, which apparently just pulls off, which it has. Easy done. And this whole bottom tray um, slides out. So what we've got to do is just uh, get rid of a few of these other screws. We've got one here. Ooh, that's a long one. Okay, so 
So that's mostly out and the speaker's still connected. And the speaker cable's just there. There we go. So what's holding it in now? Got that, got that, got that. So it's just the power cables. Okay, so the object of this exercise is to get this out. We're gonna disassemble that and clean it up. Um, so now I can get to it, I can desolder it. The first thing I've got to do is secure this so it doesn't fall over. Which that'll do fine. So to get the board out, what we've got to do is just take this nut off. So I've got to get that nut off. Nope, just pull it out. There we go. So now can we get the board out? Yay! Easy. Well, it really would be much easier if I just uh, desoldered this stuff. It's just the less stuff to desolder, the better, really. So what we've got to do is get inside this thing. I've never disassembled one of these before, so I don't really know how to do that. Yeah, so I decided to desolder this off the board. It should just be a case of warming up these joints and gently pulling. Oh dear, I don't like the way that bubbles up. There seems to be some broken wires in here. That wasn't anywhere near as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. So the way the switch works, if it's on, then these are both closed like that. And then you get a circuit between these two wires and these two wires. So that's in the closed position. You measure it, but you just have to squeeze it together a little bit to get a connection. Do you see that? So if you open, close, measure, nothing until you squeeze it together. So these two cables are not getting the power through them. So to get the connection to work a little bit better, what I've done is I've just pinched that up a little bit. Um, which will apply a bit more pressure between these points and uh, also clean up these contacts uh, with a little bit of metal sandpaper. So we're going to reassemble this. We need to get this circular bit here into this hole there and keep the centre um, with that centre somehow. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, I think that joined up all right. Let's just see if we can turn this on and off. It's on. So I'm going to bend these back in. I've resoldered the switch back onto the board and just screwed the uh, board back on with the little screws there, 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 there. And now I'm just going to try and reassemble it. So we need to remember to put this back on, uh, which I can't quite remember how that fitted. Oh, yeah, I do. There's a slot, there's a recess in the back of this. Um, these cables here just rooted round on a clip there. They're all tucked out of the way again. through the front okay and that's it that's settled where it should be so we had these long screws they went there So I've already soldered the earth strap back on. It's just a case of fitting these cables back. And this one, which was rooted here. truth. Yes! <clears throat> and if we're lucky, it won't spontaneously combust any minute. That seems to be doing something. How do you make it work? Knob at the back here to increase the intensity. There we go, we can see it now. There we go. Oh wow. It does actually look beautiful. These vector graphics are so pretty sharp. You can imagine back in the day when we had um, of pixelated, tiny Atari graphics, and you've got these ultra pin sharp vectors. Like they've really not seen anything like it. Fantastic! It works! 
So if you liked the video, remember to click like and subscribe to the channel and add any comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, I'm going to go and play some of these wonderful games. See you.